What's up everybody, it's Enes here and welcome to another episode. This week we're touring this $25 million Hollywood Hills estate right behind me and this home is actually not on the market for sale but it is available for short-term rentals starting from $150,000 per week. It is managed and listed by Nightfall Group and if you want more information about the estate or want to rent it yourself you can check out the links in the description of this video. Now, because it's a short-term rental, not only we're gonna to tour the property, we're gonna spend the whole day here, have lunch and dinner prepared by a private chef, utilize all the amenities that this property provides. That means you're getting the full experience with us. Let's get started. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. House is minutes away from the Sunset Strip, so you're in a great area. And from the street level, you can see the beautiful modern architecture of this home, smooth stucco, glass walls throughout, and the backyard is stunning. And we're gonna check that out in a bit. Now off of the entry, we have the two car garage on this side from the street level. Entry takes you to the front door, and down below we have another access to the subterranean garage that we're gonna check out later in the tour. Now, we have this massive pivot door that welcomes you into the space. Come on in, Mikey. And as soon as you walk in, look at this. Walls of glass flowing straight to the backyard. It's all open. We have stone floors throughout. Staircase here going up to the second floor, as well as the lower level. And first, I wanna take everybody this way. We have the elevator access here for this level, and it takes us straight to the formal living room area. This is a great welcoming space as you come into the property. Love the furniture design here. Marble coffee table right in the center. You have your linear gas fireplace with some built-ins and marble details. It's just a nice open space. Yeah, and we get to see a lot of living rooms around LA, but we never actually get to enjoy them. And since this property's for rent, why don't you sit down and give us a couch review? Sure. Um, pretty comfortable. I like it, and I feel like Formal living rooms are not supposed to be super comfortable. They're a little formal, you know? Yeah, there's no TV in here. You kind of just sit down and, and talk. That's right. Have a little meeting. All right, Mikey, let's show this detail. Sliding glass door that takes us straight to the cabana. There's a very nice picture window looking at the atrium that sees the garage, the main garage. We're gonna check that out later. And these are the only Fleetwood doors that we actually left closed. That way, everybody can see how they look because throughout the property, we have all the glass doors opened up right now and it looks stunning. Now, we have the first main set of sliding glass doors here. Look at this water feature. Straight from the entry, that's your backyard. I mean, we got a lot to cover in this home. Now, Mike, let's take everybody here. Staircase going up to the second floor. At the end of the hallway, we have a nice powder room for this level with a water closet. This door opens up to the two car garage from the street level. And coming back to the entry, we go straight into the formal dining room area. Now, every home that has been tailored for entertaining has to have a really good dining room, and this one certainly does. I love the marble table right in the center. It's very spacious, you have a ton of built-ins, chandelier above, and what I like about this room is the fact that you have this massive picture window assembly with two casement windows looking at the side of the property, which is a nice zen view, and more importantly, there's a really cool feature here, Mikey, that I wanna show it to everyone. Why don't you come this way? So this is a two-story wine cellar. Temperature controlled, right? Looks beautiful with these glass panels. Check this out, ready? It's a revolving wine cellar. Two stories. Two so stories. Where does it go? Well, I guess we'll see that later in the tour. That way you can take a wine bottle from the lower shelves that are basically fixed, or you can reach to the top and pick exactly the bottle that you want. Super cool. First time we're seeing something like this. Pretty cool, yeah. Awesome. Let's come back to the entry and we go straight into the family room. Now this is a great space right next to the kitchen and what I love about this setting is the fact that you have accordion doors opening up to the side of the property where we have a water feature and these accordion doors open up straight to your backyard. I mean look at this view Mikey, it's so peaceful, tranquil, you got a 75 foot lap pool, super private. It's a good vibe here. Yeah, we'll get back there in a little bit. Absolutely, you have your TV built-ins and right on the other side we have the kitchen. 
Now the kitchen of this home is stunning. We have two massive islands. This one has the bar seating and our chef is currently preparing us an amazing lunch that I'm really excited about. And speaking of lunch, we have a beautiful fruit plate here. In fact, since we are enjoying the space, I'm gonna enjoy this cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, I'm not a big cantaloupe guy. Am I good? Oh. Here we go. Thank you. Look at us, just enjoying a champagne. Yeah, where, what, are we, what are we, what are we what doing? What happened to all that? Yeah. Now. It's good stuff. That's pretty good. Now let's cover the rest of the kitchen. Obviously super spacious. We have the base cabinets here. Your first sink dishwasher. I love these accordion glass windows that open up to the side of the property where we have the water feature. And over here we have the main island with stainless steel countertops and sides. Chef is preparing us an amazing meal. I think it's steak and mashed potatoes. So I'm again, very excited. We have a powder room right here, conveniently located. And behind the chef, we have all the built-ins here, the oven set up, microwave, espresso maker, everything you need. This is the pantry. And I mean, the kitchen continues. You have your paneled fridge and freezer, your wine fridge, everything you need. It's a good size kitchen. One of the best things about these short-term rentals is that the rental company can provide you with any service that you desire. This property is managed through Nightfall Group, who provided us with a professional chef to cook us lunch and dinner during our stay there. For lunch, we had a three-course meal with an appetizer, main, and a dessert. All right, so we just got lunch served. In fact, our private chef prepared us this amazing lunch, which looks incredible. I mean, it looks perfect. I almost don't even want to touch the plate. And uh, we have our buddy Orkun here. He hey. came all the way from Turkey, and he's sharing the experience with us with his wife. What do you think about the food and everything uh, here? It looks great. I hope it tastes great as well. I'm sure it'll be good. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. The food was delicious, and for dessert, we were served panna cotta. That's really good. That was it for our delicious lunch, but we're here to tour this house, so let's get back to it. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody outside. I love that water feature right next to the family room. It just sets a nice tranquil vibe to this amazing estate. And this is where we have the backyard. Where do I start? Right in the center, we have this spacious grass section. You have a staircase going down to the lower level because the entertainment space continues right there. And they got some crazy amenities that we're gonna check out in a bit. Let's cover the pool, the important part of this amazing rental. 75 foot lap pool here. And Mikey, what's so interesting about this one is the fact that we have two glass panes that brings natural light to the lower level. It's a nice architectural detail. We're gonna see that later in the video. Yeah, the lower level is really cool. I haven't been upstairs yet, but I spent a lot of time downstairs and it's, it's really nice. It is really nice. I love the hedging here. We're on a hillside. It is actually very steep, but this lot has been flattened out. That way you get all this outdoor space. I mean, look at walls of glass here. House looks stunning. I mean, the architectural lines with the overhangs and glass railing, it's so open. And I feel like every part of this estate is all focused towards the backyard because this is where you entertain. We have this elevated decking here with a fire pit right in the center. We have a staircase going down to the street level. That way you have an easy access. And I mean, look at the space here. Your elevated decking, your 75 foot pool. It's an amazing entertaining space. And this is what the Hollywood Hills lifestyle is all about. Yeah, and it is early afternoon, uh, but at night, I'm sure it looks even cooler. We're gonna stick around after dinner and enjoy that fire pit. That's right, Mikey. Now we're underneath this covered section formal living room and we go straight into the cabana. I mean, this cabana takes the outdoor entertaining to a new level. It's covered, that way you can benefit from the shade, nice outdoor seating, you have your fireplace, TV above, it's right next to your pool, comes with its own bar with pendant lighting, fridge. Uh, I just realized this section, by the way. You have an awesome little outdoor dining area, casual yeah. setup. Breakfast nook, little reading reading corner or something. You know? Whatever you want to do, Mikey, and look at this. Nice corner glass detail. Yeah. Architectural lines continue. And over here, we have a full bathroom with a vanity setup and a shower that essentially serves as your pool bathroom. Now, that's it for the backyard, but the entertainment continues. Let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. Now we're on the lower level and this space is all about entertainment, 
First off, we have this door opening up the spacious powder room for this level. And coming back here, before we check out the common areas, I actually wanna take everybody this way. So on my right hand side, we have the laundry room, washer dryer, conveniently located. And we have this door opening up to the first bedroom suite on this level. Since we're on the lower level, it has an egress access on the other side, nice cozy space. And around the corner, we have a spacious bathroom dedicated for this room with a walk-in shower and a vanity design. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the landing of the lower level. And by the way, Mikey, how do you like the house so far? Uh, I really like the house. This is the coolest part of the house for me, but we really haven't seen that much, so let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. All right, ready? Elevator access for the lower level, and this door opens up to the spacious garage. And I mentioned it earlier, this garage has an atrium because right in the center we have this open space, and you can actually see all the way to your cabana. Now, on this side, we got some beautiful cars. Nightfall Group not only manages this estate, they also have an in-house concierge service, which means they can literally provide you anything you want with your rental. In this case, if you want some really nice cars, they can provide that for you. You can literally tell them the brand or type of car you want. They will arrange it. They will bring it up here. So when you show up at your rental, everything is ready to go for you. Now, we got some beautiful cars here. Aston Martin, Rolls Royce, Mercedes. Let's check out this one. Yeah. This is a Rolls Royce Dawn convertible, obviously. Gorgeous, look at this interior, Mikey. So stunning. And again, whatever you wanna rent, they will provide it to you. And uh, I like these new Mercedes as well, the S-Class. Who knows, maybe I get one. Yeah. All right, this is a garage space, obviously very spacious. Gates open up the street level. And now I wanna take everybody back inside so we can continue our tour on the lower level. We got a couple more amenities that we're gonna see. Now, coming back to the landing, there's actually a really cool detail here right off this staircase above us, we have a skylight. It's actually located in the water feature off of the entry on the main level. And again, it brings so much natural light coming into this spacious common area. We have a seating section on the left, poker table on the right. But what's so important about this space is the bar area. Look at that glass pane right there, looking into your lap pool. I mean, this whole setup here, the lighting, the countertops, the ceiling treatment, it's super cool and uh, really modern. I like it a lot. Yeah, we rarely get to see these kinds of like pool windows. I think we've maybe seen it in one other house ever, uh, but I always thought they're very cool. It's like very like movie-like, you know? Absolutely. It looks stunning. I'm sure at night it's gonna look even better. Yeah. Now, entertainment space continues. Double doors straight into the movie theater. Again, the scale here, the elevation difference, the comfortable couch and uh, seating setup. I love it, it's very warm, no windows, so you get the full movie theater effect. You have your cold lighting above. It definitely sets a vibe here. I like it, it's a great space to enjoy. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the landing here so we can continue our tour on the lower level. By the way, we also have this ceiling treatment here, as I wanted to mention. In fact, Mikey, I'm really feeling the vibes here. Look at me, I'm used to wearing suits, I wear sneakers, button shirts, sleeves are all up. I'm getting used to this lifestyle, the I'm people, not gonna lie. The people rarely get to see you so casual. I guess we were on a yacht a few weeks ago. Uh, that was pretty casual. That was pretty casual, right? Uh, but then after that, it was so formal, you know? True. All right, so on the left, we have this beautiful wood treatment that actually wraps all the way into the bar. And we saw the cars at the gallery and you have all these picture windows looking at the cars. Look at your view here. I love this space. I mean, it's so artistic. You have built-in seating. And again, Aston Martin, Rolls-Royce, Mercedes, I feel like it's built for a car collector. There's a nice detail here, look at these doors. I like this detail. So we have two uh, center pivot glass doors that takes you into the gym and we mentioned it. The lower section is all about entertainment and taking care of yourself. You have a mirrored wall on the right, another massive glass assembly looking into the pool. That way you get some natural light here and it's just a cool feature to look at. Obviously the room is very spacious. We have the massage table right in the center, sliding glass doors open up to the side. And on this side where we have this mirrored wall, we have this door opening up to the spa. Floating vanity, some open shelving, massive picture assembly here looking at the side. That way you get some natural light here as well. Water closet, walk-in shower, with two benches, steam shower, everything you need. I mean, it's definitely good size. And around the corner, we have the sauna. It's basically a nice compact 
spot for your lower level. And like we mentioned earlier, lower level is all about entertainment and taking care of yourself. And lastly, we have that sliding glass door right there, opening up to that outdoor staircase that I mentioned when we were at the pool. Now that's it for this level. I wanna take everybody back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor. Here we are on the second floor and we have four spacious guest suites on this level, including the primary bedroom. This house is 13,800 square foot, so it's definitely good size. And I just love that you literally have panes of glass throughout the home. Look at the entry here. It's so light and bright. We have this skylight above with a chandelier looking down onto the entry of this home. And coming back here, we have this first hallway taking us to two bedroom suites your elevator access here, and we have a storage on this side. Another detail I wanna mention, these hallways. Can we check out all these glass walls? I mean, you're looking towards your backyard pretty much anywhere in the house, and I just love that. I just feel like it makes it so cozy and exciting. We have this door opening up to the first bedroom suite, facing the front of the home. I love this corner glass detail. Fleetwood doors open up to a private balcony for this bedroom. You have your king size bed, TV on the other side, and around the corner, we have this door opening up to a walk-in closet that leads you to your bathroom with a vanity setup and a walk-in shower. So this is the first bedroom on this level and coming back to the hallway, and I just also love that these bedrooms are really separated from each other, so there's a nice privacy aspect. Again, walls of glass looking at your backyard. We have this door opening up to the second bedroom king size bed. I love these open shelving details, unique angles with the glass panes, TV on this side, front facing balcony. So you appreciate the views on that side. And we even have a second balcony here. Mikey, let's show everyone quickly actually. I mean, look at this. From anywhere at your house, you can enjoy your backyard. I love that massive hill they have behind the house also. It just adds up to a nice background. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. This door opens up to the closet. It's all open your hanger space here. And around the corner, we have another full bathroom, open shelving, beautiful cabinetry, floating vanity design here with LED lit mirror, your walk-in shower, and they have this stacked stone detail throughout the home. Now that's it for this wing. I wanna take actually everybody back to the entry so we can check out the seating area off of the landing. We have the TV on my left-hand side, beautiful furniture, and this door opens up to the third bedroom suite. This one is also front facing. Again, we have the corner glass detail, king size bed. Each one of these bedrooms can easily have their own seating area. We have the desk on this side. I love these ceiling mount light fixtures. And coming to this door, we have the walk-in closet. Again, that leads you to your bathroom. Each one of these bathrooms have the same walk-in shower set up, floating vanity, open shelving. It's a great rental, you have everything you need. And I just love that each one of these bedrooms gets a good size bathroom. Now, let's go back to the landing so we can check out the primary bedroom suite, which is stunning. And on our way to primary bedroom suite, we have all these skylight details above us. And we talked about it. Two-story wine cellar. How amazing is this? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty incredible. This is a First time we've seen that. So I guess if you're just on your way to your uh, primary bedroom, you can just grab a bottle of wine and go relax in there. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. All right, we have this door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. I love the ceiling heights, the scale, furnishings. Room is gorgeous. I mean, you have the king size bed on this side, seating area here, your built-ins with a TV. Ceiling treatment gives a lot of warmth to the space with the cove lighting. You have your linear gas fireplace on this side and a balcony looking towards your backyard. The whole space, the volume, the natural light coming in is a pretty special primary bedroom suite. Now, let's take everybody to the side where we have the primary bathroom. Right in the center, we have this freestanding tub natural stone application throughout, two walk-in showers with rain heads, handheld. In fact, Mikey, let's get a close-up. This one has two rain heads, as if one wasn't enough. Look at the scale here. So again, we never get the chance to turn these things on at homes. Uh, here we go. And since this is a rental, we might, as well, we might as well turn this I on, right? All right, Mikey, let's make your wishes come true. If I get- better. I think that might be temperature. Okay, let's see this one. Oh, uh, there we go. 
Was it satisfying? Yeah, I was kind of hoping that one close to you would turn on and you just get And just create some chaos? <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Very nice. Oh! <laughs> That's handheld. There you go. That's how it works apparently. Okay. So, uh, coming back here, we have the water closet on this side. Your vanity set up with the wall fixtures. You have a TV inside of your mirror in case you need that. It comes with a house. And uh, going back here, we have the secondary vanity, more of a darker tones here with the LED lit mirror. You have some windows above for some ventilation. Another water closet here. It's a spacious bathroom. I mean, in fact, I want to show this detail. I know, Mike, I'm running you around throughout the space. We have a skylight detail and they did this nice ceiling treatment. So I want to point that out. Two closets. This one has a makeup area off of the entry and these closets are nicely decked out wood paneled open shelving hangers two islands where you have your drawers it's definitely good size they even left a little um robe for you so you can enjoy your vacation here yeah all right let's come back mikey we got one more closet to see this house delivers i mean even the closets are very spacious everything you need this is the second one and yeah good size bathroom I want to take everybody back to the backyard or to the balcony one more time to really kind of sum up our tour here. Beautiful estate. I just love that bedrooms are up here. So you have your main floor and your lower level dedicated for your entertainment. Now that's it for our tour, but of course we're going to spend a few more hours here. Wait for the sun to go down so we can just enjoy this place at night. It's 8.30 p.m. right now, dinner is served, table looks awesome, everybody's enjoying their food, and I feel like it could be paired nicely with this wine, so I'm gonna serve everyone. So what did the uh, chef make for us tonight? I think we got a Caesar salad, grilled salmon with a potato salad, and I actually don't know the dessert, Mikey, but if you can get a close-up right there to the menu. It's tiramisu, I knew the answer. Uh, there you go, you knew testing. it already? Yeah. You were just trying to set me up? Jason, how's the food? Amazing. Good. Jason already ate the entire plate, by the way. It's gone. <laughs> Jason, yeah. what was better, lunch or dinner? I think dinner is better. Lunch. Well, we'll see in a second. Yeah, you, you killed that plate. You went yeah, to it's done. Okay. Uh, and I guess, Mikey, that's your plate right there. And that's the end of the wine right there. Not so much for you. I'll grab another bottle. We had a great day enjoying this house, using its amenities, and filming a tour for all of you. But one full day still wasn't enough to capture the full experience of renting this incredible mansion. So here's the thing. We lost the daylight because we were shooting B-roll, doing the walkthrough, and we even did a walkthrough with our buddy from Turkey, Orkun. And uh, because of that, we lost the daylight, which means we couldn't enjoy the pool or the hot tub during the day. But that doesn't mean we cannot enjoy it right now because both the hot tub and the pool is heated. Looks really inviting. We have the fire pit on. House looks great at night and uh, I'm gonna enjoy the swimming pool now. I know you got your microphone on, yeah, take it off. Jump in for the people. Everybody has been asking. We've been uh, waiting for this moment for like, what, Mike, almost three years? Yeah, show the people what they wanna see, you jumping right. in a pool. That's fine, let's do this. I'll see you guys later.